some stuff on the camera. Hello, everybody. We're going to get underway in just a few minutes. Let some people get into the room. Let us make sure that we're completely situated. Hope everybody had a great weekend. So, Lindsay, you just follow the yellow mark down at the bottom. Send me an email to mrboslot 795 at gmail.com. Yeah, I see you have a wrench already, which means T might have given you it. But you would also want to send me that same information. Just follow that yellow banner just so that I have it in my own files without having to ask T for it. Hey, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Kim. Hi, CNA. Hope everybody had a really good weekend. We are, are going to get early. Just sharing the post. I hope everybody's having a had a good weekend. A little cold up here. There we go. Yeah, Ronald, there might be some. Hi, Louie. Hello, everybody. And like I said, if, uh, if anybody is new and would like to register so that they can participate in the auction, make sure you guys <laughs> you guys send me a message to mrbizelot795 at gmail.com. You must be registered to be able to bid. Shipping is included with your purchases and with your bids. Inside the United States, if you are foreign, you will pay the difference between U.S. shipping and foreign shipping. Otherwise than that, we're going to have some fun. We have some rock and roll posters. Hi, Tommy. Tommy, you're not new, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> we have 1980s He-Man and other figures. Well, if he was trying to say nude, I'm not sure. Well, Tommy might be nude. You never know with Tommy. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Mr. Kyle Elliott. Hi, Troy. To your only fans. <laughs> to the Pam fans. Fans of Pam. Everybody misses her when she's not here. Me, they're like, ah, it's fine. The Pam did the auction. So yes, we have we will have some comic books and some graphic novels and some magazine type stuff from the deal I bought this past weekend. We purchased about fifty thousand comics. Um, obviously, it's just too much stuff to worry about going through. So we're just going to bring it here and sell it. We also have a bunch of postcards. Hey, Snapper. We have photos and who knows what else. <laughs> Thanks, Mountain Man. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you get a shot afterward Troy <laughs> okay so first up I'm going to do a lot of three posters <laughs> going to do this lot of three these are all concert posters these are authentic original concert posters this is the streets with Lady Sovereign this was in Boulder Colorado and as you can see, there is some waviness to them, a little rippling here. 
This one has some excess paper wear on the on the edges and a little creasing. But as you can see, this one is signed FGX. It is number 80 of 200. This is Marcus Miller at the Trocadero. <laughs> Tommy, make sure you wash those off. They might be used. Here's Melissa Etheridge. As you can see, it's wavy. You can cold press these. They turn out pretty nice. This one is also by FGX Galleries. It is signed number 66 of 200 made. So you get all three $10 start. That includes the shipping in the U.S. Small group of rock posters. I'm just going to get those done and out of the way. Then we're going to get into toys and comics and all the other fun, juicy stuff that we have. Yep, that. Pam made some really great lots of uh, toys from the back of the warehouse that I have no clue what's in them. Or if I'm Mr. Hordes alive. Brian, yeah. I'll pull you out one. Uh, Kim told me the other night that you wanted one, that you missed it in the auction. So we have two hip chicks in. Hi, Don and Mary. At 15. <laughs> For this lot of three. Shushas. Um, possibly. I have a bunch of toys that were just, you know, I have a bunch of 80s toys, um, comic books, magazines, some underground stuff. I think there's a binder of non-sports cards. Um, we have postcards today, so because I got in a collection of 25,000 postcards. So we have those that we're going to bring in. Hey, so Mia. We have Pat in at 20 for the three. Two hip chicks is in at 22. And on how to make these really nice and flat, a cold press is you have a perfectly flat surface like this table. Put a piece of plexiglass or marble over top of this that's perfectly flat. Add about 100, 150 pounds of weight. Let it sit for, and they usually come out pretty nice. They're not perfect, but they are pretty close. Hey, Disney. So these two are signed and numbered, and this one is not signed. A lot of postcards. Just a few, Jenny, just a few. Well, that way we can send one to people every day of the week for the next 10 years. So we have Pat in at 24. And I think Friday or Thursday we're going to uh, we're going to potentially have a guest appearance on Thursday, and then maybe run a long day Thursday for you guys. And Pam and I are going to try and set up a Saturday. So there's a lot of people that have to work during the week, so we might do a Saturday sale next Saturday. We just don't know what time yet. I'll look at everybody else's schedules and try to fit ourselves in somewhere during that day. The 27th. So we're at 26 with two hip chicks. We're going to start calling it down. Hey, Mama G. Hello, Tammy. Pat is out. <laughs> and put... <laughs> Mountain man. <laughs> Hi, Carolina. Welcome to the auctions. Anybody else who's just, you know, watching in the background, make sure you guys register in case you ever see something you want to bid on. I think our girl's here picking up shipping. So just go tell Kim to go out and tell her to make sure to scan everything. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, I believe we are sold, sold, sold. Two hip chicks for $26. Congratulations. Like I said, I'm going to get the posters kind of out of the way. $26 to two hip chicks. And that may mean some of these lots will be a little bit bigger than others. Or much bigger than others. Who knows? Okay. okay, so this lot will have Johnny Lang. And I don't even know who Johnny Lang is. Now, this one is not signed because it is a David Dean poster from 1998. You have Bjork. This one is an FGX poster. It is number 21 of 200 made. You have Bonnie Ray. FGX, number 116 of 200. This one does have rippling, which you can see. The Bajork is actually pretty flat, and so is the Johnny Lang. You have this awesome Patty Smith, which is a Bill Graham Presents poster. So now you're getting four. But wait, there's more. A Valina US Tour. I believe this is an Amy Joe poster. Yep, Amy Joe 2004, right on the back. You have Luna with consonant this one is fgx it is number 63 of 200 most of their print runs are around 200 so let's do those and lucinda williams this is also fgx and this is number 10 of 200 so you get all seven of those posters so all seven for one money We're going to move through these today. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> uh, Shasha is not during the auction, I don't, but we are going to be releasing a video probably this weekend, maybe, that will have... Probably some rock and roll posters wholesale and possibly comic lots coming in a week or two. Hot in a 40? I try not to do too many like mystery lots that I don't show you a little bit of on the camera. For the simple fact, I'm always worried that like you'll get it and not be happy with it. So at least if you see kind of what you're bidding on. I feel a little more comfortable. Yeah. But what I can do is like the box that we we sold last week for 1200 I can bring another one of those boxes up from the back and we can just put it up for auction. And that'll definitely, you know, I can definitely get that done this week. I love flipping full mangoes. Hi, Joan Renee. Just a few comics, one or two. Yeah, just a couple, a couple of funny books. Hey, Josh. Hi, Josh. Okay, so we are with Jeffrey on the seven concert posters. There are seven here. Patty Smith, Lucinda Williams, Johnny Lang, Bajork. Bonnie Ray, Luna, and Valina. Never heard of Valina, so we'll cover that one up. But you get those seven posters, and that includes shipping. Pat's in at 55. Hey, Chris Jatworth. What's up, Mr. Chit? Jeffrey Stevens is out. And we're definitely going to have toys, lots of toys, and then the toys from the comic deal that I bought this weekend are going to be sold here at the auction. So 
We're at 55 with Pat looking for 60 or better. Okay. I believe this lot is going to be sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Pat for 55. Congratulations, Pat. Okay, I think I can get the rest of the rock and roll posters into maybe one lot. Now, as you can see, these are much bigger. Like, so this is the size of the ones that I just sold you. And it is like a third of the size of these large ones. But you're going to get whatever's here in the stack. FG19 of 200, Suzanne Vega. You get a Von Bondi's right here. It is signed right there by Kevin Mercer. What? He better be here for my charming personality. Because it sure ain't for my good looks. So you got Joan of Arc, signed by Kevin Mercer. This is number 71 of our number 70 of only 91 made of that poster. The stock market crash with the Red Knights and Yacht Club in Oklahoma City. It's also a Kevin Mercer poster. This is number three. What? Number three of 50. <laughs> this one's awesome. So this is Mondo, Generator, and Bad Wizard. This is also a Kevin Mercer. I'm by him in pencil on the bottom. And the last one in this lot is people get desperate if they miss train dodge. And this one is also a Kevin Mercer poster. And this is also number three of only 50 made. So you get the four large ones and the two small ones. I tried to get you all like number threes if possible. So I hope everybody had a great weekend. We did not get the ice storm we were supposed to get today that we were worried about. <laughs> Hi, Javis. So you get all six posters for one money shipped. So we have 25 with Michelle looking for 27 or better. On Joan of Arc, Train Dodge, Mondo Generator, Bad Wizard, the Von Bonnet, and Stock Market Crash. <laughs> yes, it is kind of crazy, Disney. She ain't got six plus five. Oh, that's crazy. Sarhill in at 27, Pat in at 30. Um, Kyle Elliott, my guess is there was an auction on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> we didn't get any ice up here, Kyle. I don't think he got any ice either. I think he just wanted to go into the work late. He overslept. <laughs> <laughs> we have 35 with Tar Heel. Pat is out. And these are a little bit larger. Let me see if I can give you a rough size on the, on the four bigger ones. These are 18 and a quarter inches, a little over 18 and a, by 24 and a half inches tall. So we're at 40 with Michelle. <laughs> I'm with you, Kyle. I was thinking we would be off today, too. 
45 at Tar Heel? <laughs> well, you know what that is. First and thong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pam said, and your thong, Chris. <laughs> Nobody in Texas owns pants. <laughs> That's all stuff that got crazy cold. Yeah, yeah five degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we might have a little bit of cards over on the other table with the lots. Five degrees, yeah, that's what I heard down there. Kim said she was scanning. No, the car, the truck's way out there, though. Okay, sold, sold, sold. Yep, sold for 45 Tar Hill Picker. 45 to Tar Hill Picker. Okay, guys, so let's get some things out of the way. Um, I have not went through to see how much of what is here and what is not because, well, I bought it this weekend and I didn't feel like trying to figure out if every piece of every item is here because comics are heavy and after the weekend I was tired. So this is the G.I. Joe headquarters from the 80s. Here's the ramp. I can see on the ramp itself there is a broke corner right here. Here's the large gun. The gun barrels are in here. Here's the chairs, the searchlights, all the small metal frames. I know a lot of people sell these in parts anyway, but this one might be relatively complete. I kind of kept everything together that was together. So this is a G.I. Joe headquarters from the 80s three and three quarter inch figures. So if we find more of this in the GI Joe box, it will be included with this lot. I will put it together with it, but I think this is all of it in here. So it's going to be a $15 start. It's definitely going to be more than that to ship it. Like I said, some parts are going to have issues and some are going to be great for selling single parts. I mean, People sell these individual wall pieces, but I just don't have time to do it anymore because I just want to sell you guys everything. It's more fun that way. There's that. So $15 start on the G.I. Joe headquarters. Oh, starting bid. Janine went to 25 30 Not his. Okay. Darren, is that your bid? Okay, Josh is in at thirty five. There we go. So we have 35 with Josh Noons. Hashi's got it. <laughs> Van is out. What's really cool in this slot is the computer panels with the, um, I think it opens if I remember right. Yeah. Have the stickers, which those are usually missing, or this is broke off. Here's some of the cell doors. It's one of the guns. What? Hmm. 
Here are the searchlights and the chairs. The inside panels. And then here's some of the rarer pieces. Here's like the small camera and the guns, like the small guns. These are a little bit harder to find. There's some more interior. There's two or three more interior doors here. Here's the big front gun for the big cannon, wherever the cannon is. Hey, Carl. Carl, did you see what I did over the weekend? <laughs> so G.I. Joe headquarters, 1980s, 1984, that should be, 2 to 84. So we're in at 60 with Josh. Nope, there's no figures. Carl said he didn't see. Oh. Yeah, Carl, all the comics. <laughs> um, yeah. Unless he's on our list. Uh, Jacob Charles. I think he's on the list. Jacob, you have a wrench now, so you're able to bid. Josh is out. Chris is out. Oh, and Crispy Toys. Man. We started going through some more boxes of that guy that worked for Warner Brothers. Awards. All kinds of awesome animator stuff. <laughs> so we're at 70 with Shasha's. I remember shipping is included. Backpack treasures in at 75. Pam forced me to, to get this stuff ready for you guys for today. It literally was sitting in the box an hour ago. She's like, start emptying those boxes and make tray lots. And sell those toys. Wasn't that included when I bought it all? <laughs> <laughs> when you bought the first load, Chris, yes. We have Big Sky in at 80. So a Big Sky in at 80, looking for 85 or better. Okay, we're going to start counting it out. I am, Janine, because this pile of stuff is in my way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can get rid of it as fast as I buy it, but... 85 with backpack. That's why we're going to start some Saturdays. Yep, we are definitely going to look into Saturday auctions. Move out of here. Just for the people who are at work during the week and stuff like that to be more convenient for them. Not often, maybe once or twice a month. <laughs> she means that we can try. Mm -hmm. Six guys out. Okay. We're going to count it down. I believe Backpack Treasures is in at 85. Let's start giving it a quick count. It's dusty. That's free. We sold.
Sold, sold, sold. Backpack treasures. Okay, sold, sold, sold. We're looking into the 27th star name chapter. If you have the power, like oh, I have the power. Then you can be human. Okay. So condition is I'll show you whatever I can see on it that has an issue. Both platforms are there. The bird is here for the elevator. So it is there for the elevator. The elevators. Yep, that was G.I. Joe headquarters. This is He-Man. Now, this chair has a broken off, had a little orange piece that stuck down in the bottom that went through this hole. So whenever you turned this, the trap door would open. I don't know how the connector piece works. This is the connector piece that goes underneath so that whenever the chair turns, it unlocks it. So here is the, I guess they called it a training ram, battering ram, but there is a break on the foot. I saw that. Here's the gun. Yep, Castle Grayskull. Here are a few of the cardboard inserts that you just never see because, and they're obviously damaged. Here is the flag, which is always missing, with the pole. Here's the weapons rack. And I think there should be five pieces for the weapons rack. So one, two, three, four, five, six, the weapons for the weapons rack. That's fine. So, and it is the vintage one. I do also have the newer one sitting over here, but this is the vintage one. This stuff's just a little bit bigger and on the table, so we're going to go through it first. As you can see, the trap door is there. The connector piece is inside of the bag right here. There is... Oh, that looks okay. I'm kind of looking at it as I'm showing it to you guys. This goes over here. Both of the side pieces are here. These are usually the side tabs are actually here. Those are usually broke off. Here is the front door. It is there. So Castle Gray Skull with a bunch of the little accessories. In played with condition, but pretty nice. I mean, a lot of these accessories sell for really good money by themselves. Thanks, Mount Man. And this is the original Castle Grey Skull. So dragon ended at 80. We have 115 people here. Thank you for being here. You're hired. <laughs> Kyle, he's too young for this toy. <laughs> he might be too young for this toy. <laughs> Pam said she had one of these when they were actually made out of stone. Shut up. Brian. She was a kid. <laughs> Shut up, Dick. <laughs> oh my God. The cardboard pieces are there. Um, as far as I know, everything is there. Wasn't there like a bird that also kind of went with it? I don't know. 
I'm, it is definitely very, very complete. It's 95% or so. Oh, yeah. The one. Yep. I do have the newer one also somewhere over there in one of the boxes from the comic storage lot. So we are at, what, 80 with Dragon Smoke? <laughs> I came out eight years before I came out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kyle, I'm I'm very proud of you for coming out. <laughs> yeah, it's in really, really good shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should uh I should have messaged Dom primetime. He just sold uh Snake Mountain. <laughs> so we're eighty dollars with dragon. We're gonna start count counting it down, giving it our call. Yeah, it's funny. Like the comic books are skyrocketing. So I think that soon the toys are gonna start getting more and more interest, and more value. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> or Kyle Kyle they don't want to marry you <laughs> marriage turns I do into why should I now okay it looks like we're going to be sold 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 stuff in there sold congratulations dragon we are getting stuff out look look at all the dust dust bunnies so what he-man collection would be complete you have Castle Grayskull, but you don't have Snake Mountain. So we have Snake Mountain. So let's see. Snake Mountain has the two tabs, which are always broken or missing. Has the Wolf Gate. Has the Trap Door. Has the jaw. The microphone is here. I didn't have a nine volt battery to test it, but the connection is. So if I had a nine volt battery, I would have tested it. The net is here. The stickers are actually really nice. The bridge is missing. I know there's supposed to be a bridge. Here's the ladder. Here's one of the guardrails for the bridge. Here are one of the two shackles that would have came with this, and here is a broken piece of one of the hinges. One of these inside pins right here is broken. $25 start on this piece. Obviously, the snake is up here. Okay. Not ran at 30. Ran at 40. So Snake Mountain. And this is the vintage one. The OG. <laughs> So at 50 with Paul, 
And remember, shipping is included. And this is a large piece. I remember as a kid, somehow I got my hand stuck in this hole. I know that probably doesn't surprise anybody. That wound up getting my hand stuck in there. My head wouldn't fit, so. <laughs> That's right, Carl said. <laughs> Hey, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. I'm out man to drink. <laughs> I like the Rocket City Gyms part. <laughs> yeah, anytime I say anything that has a possible into window condensation, <laughs> everybody takes shots. So by the end of the auction, there's a lot of people who are pretty first snookered. Your hand, huh? Is that code, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was so upset because my dad was going to break the plastic and my mom made me put butter on my hand to try to get it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like a reverb, but the battery components there, even the covers there, it's really nice and clean with Josh. I'm gonna put some light on the front. Like I said, the the bridge is not there. One of the guardrails for the bridge is there. The ladder's there. One of the two shackles is there. Yes. Which is what I said. It was just confirming. Yep. I just wanted to confirm that that was correct. <laughs> Yeah, there's two two bridge parts that hook together, that connect, and it doesn't have those. Man is out. Seventy will fall. But it does have the snake. It has the mouth, the net, the stickers. Josh is out. And probably the rarest thing on this one is these these little tabs that latch it. And a lot of people buy them to part them out and they sell like the snake and everything separate. <laughs> Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> From the guy who just came out. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Our guys are so much fun. <laughs> community's great love you guys <laughs> I come into work and I'm like oh I gotta work today and then it's like auction time and it's like hey this is fun <laughs> so we have 70 with Paul looking for 75 or better we're gonna count it down or we are counting it down good 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 hi Crystal Yes, he did. So, 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 so. Kyle Tran, be careful. He said for the right amount of money, he'll marry anybody. 
<laughs> Say what? <laughs> okay. So here's the last of the play sets for this. There is no metal or uh, no door here. This is here. Here is a container that originally had Beast Man on the front of slime, but regretfully, it looks like the KY jelly next to the bed after marriage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this off, but I got to send it apart anyway. Okay, the snake guy is here. Hello. How you doing? But somebody got a little rough with him when they were fingering him and put a hole in the front. So. <laughs> Drink, drink, drink. drink. <laughs> and it goes, there it is. So this is like to crush things. <laughs> so $15 start. On this, check it out. It's got Hordak on there. He's been here 15 minutes and has a buzz already. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, Carl. It happens. Uh, the comic lot. This was the big box of <laughs> he stuff. It was marked Transformers, so I was really, really excited because I personally like Transformers. But it was He Man. So we have 15 with Mountain Man Treasures. What was it? Start? 15. Okay. Hi, farm girl. So then we got the big things out of the way. All the big toys. Usually, this puppet's complete. It is what it is. I did. I was talking to the girls while they were having lunch <laughs> with my puppets. Hello, puppets. Even had a nifty English accent. Hello. Okay, so we have fifteen dollars with Mountain Man Treasures. Looking for twenty or better, or looking for seventeen or better. Hey, old school. Go ahead and start giving it a countdown. Looks like somebody might be winning this for fifteen dollars. Nope, don't think so. We're at 17 with Josh. <laughs> no, Kyle, can you tell us? How long? <laughs> Kyle, nope, this one just has... The slime container. The rock base that moves. Right here. Oh, don't eat me. <laughs> yes, snake monster. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Old school, we're selling comics, toys, 1800s photos. 
cards, whatever Pam tells me. 22 with Fab. 24 with Paul. And shipping is always included. You do need a wrench to bid. Yeah, maybe I can do some Pokemon. Sure, why not? Yep, there should be a tree, a cell door, I think a chain. <laughs> so anybody else who's out there that's interested in bidding, make sure that you do send in a registration to mrbyslot795 at gmail.com. Yeah. Tub of jewelry. I don't know. I believe Pam might have some jewelry. Any Southern like stuff. Um, other than my accent when I'm down South for about a month. Nope. Old school. Just follow the yellow banner. At the bottom, so you're just literally going to email me at mrbizalot795 at gmail.com and you'll just send me your name, your YouTube name. You can just put old school, we'll figure that out, and your email address so that we can send you invoices through PayPal and your mailing address so that we know where we're shipping to. If you are foreign, you just pay the difference in shipping from the US to wherever you're located. If you're in the US, shipping is free is included all the weather here is fine tonight it's nice yeah it's nice. actually much nicer today than it was this whole weekend pull, pull, pull the pole for 24. okay so do you guys mind if we do one more lot of of toys just to kind of clear out the he-man items and then we will get to some photos some postcards some comic books maybe some pokemon Okay, I'm going to let you guys start bidding at $10, but I will tell you the higher the bids go, the more stuff I'm going to put in the lot. I have three trays of He-Man, Master of the Universe vehicles, and parts, etc. Here is one. I would just say this attack track is for parts. I can't remember the name of this vehicle, but is rather complete. Even has the extra small pieces that broke off from the front of the gun right here are inside of here. The only thing it is missing is one of these two side blue panels. Okay. So here's the second tray of vehicles and accessories. For some odd reason, I don't have the lizard head for this. Vehicle that pops up. Here's the shark car. Raw, raw. Has one of the two guns. Here's the other side. No gun there. Has this piece. Here is a gun. I'm not sure which one this goes to as well. What? Was what? This one? I don't know. I had a bunch of He-Man stuff when I was a kid, but I don't remember having that one. This is remote control. And I saw an ad that has He-Man riding this, so I don't... But it's not made by Mattel, so... It, and it's a remote control car. So it's probably like one of those third-party accessory things that you can buy and play with your He-Mans. Where are we at? Okay, so we're at $50. That's good. And we have the horse with both guns. Is real. We have the black horse 
which I always seem to think is much harder to find than the regular one. You have Rotor, the chainsaw Skeletor's vehicle. This is an eye from that tarantula. There was a tarantula, but it was busted up pretty bad, so I just left the eye in. And this is everything. I get the time to bring the hammer down. It's, it's like working out. So, and that's everything we got in the vintage He-Man, I think. I haven't actually went through all of the boxes. Because there's boxes of newer He-Man mixed stuff. Like the classics collection stuff. Pam said we're putting that in tomorrow's auction. And then there's a giant sized box of vintage G.I. Joe, like early 80s vehicles and stuff. Tomorrow and Thursday. Ron's going to wipe out all these toys. Okay. <laughs> huh. Sometimes you just got to keep an eye out for things. Absolutely. Renee, you are welcome to. So we have 85 with Paul, looking for 90 or better. I said, this one's the, the one that's odd for me, is the remote control thing. And I can't say that I've ever had this. It's just whenever it bangs against my chest or not. Guess the eyes have it. Ever get vertibirds? Ever get It's a Mattel toy that you have a controller and they fly around on a metal tensioner rod. Gotcha. And it's a battery operated toy. Used to be able to like lift up crates with them and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, every now and then I do pick them up. So we're at 85 on this lot, looking for 90 or better. Oh, and there's this, but I don't know what it goes to. Sold, sold, sold. It's Paul Antonelli for 85. Congratulations, Paul. Okay, let's do... Okay, so these are 1880s, 1890s, CDV, Carta de Vist. This is a lot of 50. I'll show you guys... The really rare one out of them is this colored one. And if you see his magician's top hat over here on the left, and there's a name. Waltham Harris. So there are 50 of these cabinet photos, CDV, Carta de Vist. Photo. Some of them are identified on the back of who it is. Some of them are not. A lot of them have the photographer's name and information on the back. And then this one also has the per person's name. But you are getting 50 of these. $10 start.
Carpenter's, John Carpenter's wife. Isn't John Carpenter a famous guy? Look, cute little like cupies with the camera. Back, that's cute. So you're getting 50 in the slot of 1,800 photographs. I like some of the work on the back of these. Like this looks like a little like pharmacy bottle tilted over or a camera lens one or the other. That's awesome, Nancy. I'm glad to hear you got that. I love them. What did Nancy get? Oh, awesome. Yep, here's a bunch of the ones that are assigned. Shows you where they're from. Superior, Wisconsin. These are real early. And like I said, if you follow like you know, this guy is probably old enough where he might have been in the Civil War because these are 1870, 1880, 1890. You just kind of trace back their names. Are you like Connor or Nancy? Oh, this guy's beard. This is the original bearded picker. John Bagley, Deller, Michigan, age 40 in 1872. Hang on, let me ask them. Are you still alive? Do I look like I'm still alive? This guy looks like like Bob Cratchit or Uncle S or Scrooge. Now, just yep, as long as you pay your bills, you will keep a wrench as long as you're subscribed to the channel. Elizabeth Bayard. And that picks. And this one's actually tinted and colored, which is pretty odd. But very, very well done. They did a good job on it. Uncle Frank. When about 10 or 11 years old. Holland, New York. Headquarters in Dayton, Ohio. Racine, which is Wisconsin. So, great lot. Pam, I'm making space. Making space. Space on the back of the warehouse. So Nancy in at one fifty. Nikki is out. What might be one? The Ebenezer screw chip. Okay, so we're at 150, I believe, with Nancy. It's a great lot. That is true, Harold. 
you can buy more and more. Hi, Harold. Yeah, I have a buying problem. Hi, my name is Mr. Bizalot, and I have a problem. Yay, yay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> he also has a problem talking to himself, too, <laughs> obviously. I'm the only one here who's got some good common sense so I can have a good conversation. <laughs> Going twice. <laughs> Everything can be haunted if you want it to be. The voices I hear in my head, they may not really be in my head. They may be in all this cool stuff that I have around me. Oh, more valuable. Sold, sold, sold. <laughs> well, Harold, I'll tell you what. You put out your $20,000 into them, and then we'll gamble. Plus, it's really hard to ship that big of a box. Yep. Yeah. And we'll ship those. So this is 1917, The Youth Companion magazines. Awesome Fisk bicycle tire ad on the front. This is the full magazine with all of the stories. They've been folded, like these large ones have been folded. You can tell where the split line is because when they were mailed, they were mailed folded. <laughs> the Saxon 6 automobile 1917 look at that back end the Roger Brothers Silver okay so you're going to get everything in this tray $10 start here is a 1916 Youth Companion New Year's another Hudson Super 6 changes in university life at Yale University. I do. Sometimes you choose to have an argument with yourself so that you can always win. And Colgate. So very cool. And then once you got past like 1920, they actually made them smaller. So they were easy for shipping, see? So this is March 6th of 1924. And have great stories, and a lot of them will have stories in them from very famous people using surnames. So here's Brownie Cameras. So they have great advertising. So there's three. Here's number four. That one is 1924 also. Quilting, Daisy Air Rifles, Waterman Pins, Bicycles, a cool Christmas story, a brownie camera, DNM basketball, flexible flyer sled, and the last one in this slot, 1925 with cute little doggy on the front. A weekly illustrated magazine for all of the family. Port in the Wilderness. Sewing machine ad, which is kind of cool. Bicycles. Inventions of the day. Here's a um, Miriam Clark Potter with like little pixies and fairies. Brownie cameras again. Yeah, I mean, like Art Deco to me is is 1920s, and it's just a style more so than an era. 
And then these are a little bit older. These are 1916 and 1917. But condition overall is really nice for these. And you get all five shipped to your door. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Both of my wives act that way. Hi, Woodbine. You don't have to act like that. We know you're talking to yourself. <laughs> To you, you guys ignore me, so it's the same thing. We really just don't hear you. <laughs> Choices. There's a really loud feeder back there. We probably just don't hear you. <laughs> so we're at twenty-two dollars on this lot of five. Looking for twenty-four or better. Nikki. <laughs> sold, sold, sold to Nikki for 22. That was a great buy, Nikki. Okay, let's see what you guys... Oh, I can get these off the table. Okay, how many of you guys remember the 1960s and 70s? Even into the early 80s, they made these. Russ Berry, Russ Wallace Berry to make these awesome little statues. I think they were called Whatchamacallit, Thingamabobs, and some other name, Doohickeys. So another company made them also, Paula. This is 1974. This one's actually a bank to save for your beer. I am. Happiness is finding someone you like under my covers. 1976. Here's another alcohol money one, booze money. Pam originally was going to take this, and then she realized this wouldn't hold enough money to pay for her daily allotment for alcohol. So that one is a bank also. You have the awesome little birdie. He's implying that the bird should poop on him. Go ahead. Everyone else does. Has the sticker on the bottom. 1970. Russ Wallace Berry. Now, these are a little older, or a little more rare, I should say. Whenever you get into the colors, generally the non colored are the easiest to get, and then the small and the small colored are much harder to find, and then the colored stuff is, is better. World's Greatest Grandpa. So, this is a small one right there, 1968. The Great American Dream Company. You have the little get well soon caterpillar turtle. I think he's a caterpillar. This one's Wallace Berry and Company, 1974. With you, I'm not afraid. And he's not lying. <laughs> Wallace Russ Berry. World's best grandma. She's a cat lady. We have the I miss you. And then you get into this one's actually colored. I don't know if somebody painted this one because I've never seen one that is multicolored other than just like add ons on the eyes. Whom do I own? That's whom. So this is 1970, Wallace and Barry. You have the pink, so this is a colored one, but it is one of the glasses that's broken right there. World's Greatest Grandpa. Here is the blue version. His glasses are fine, but he is a little blue. Okay. 1970. So we do $2 increments. Yep, $2 increments up to $50, and then after $50, they're $5 increments, and then above that, they're $10 increments. That's above 100. 
but you are welcome to bid in time. So the King of Dads, 1973. How about I Need You and I Love You Too, 1971, Wallace Berry. And that one's another colored one. This guy says he loves you this much, so big. And these do have some serious weight to them. Like, you know, once you send this many, it's it's probably a 12 or 13 pound box. Get well soon. This guy is looking a little under the weather. But while he's doing that, his wife is the world's best roommate for another guy. 1971. That's a large one. So this is a great lot. There are seven of the large colored ones. One, three, four, five of the small ones. One, two, three, four. These are banks. Five of the regular ones. So 17 pieces in this lot shipped to your door. Mr. Old School, you have the high bid at 85. Okay, then you don't have to put your out. Then he's is he the high bid? Yeah, not okay, until yeah, yeah. someone else bids. Yep. Vet picks is out. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Jim. <laughs> I think he saw somebody else come in at the same time. So are you trying to retract your bids, old school? Just so you know, if you're going to do that, we won't. We generally don't allow that to happen just because it's not fair to the other bidders and it does take up a lot of time. So just so you know that, you know, I'll let it go one time, but if that happens on a regular basis, I just don't want to waste everybody's time or ours. So we'll go back down to who else was in. Vet picks, it was in at 80. Yeah, but up below vet picks. Because we would have to go back to where there was two other people bidding, not um, old school and vet picks. I think it was, oh, Mia's in at 75. Okay, so we have Mia in at 75, vet picks in at 70. So then we have vet picks in at 80 above Mia. Okay. Yep. So we're at 80 with vet picks. No problem. Yeah, I just have to let you know. Vet picks takes it for 85, so. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep vet picks at 80. I'm not going to make them pay more than they would have. No, it's fine. You always... No problem. I'm just, we have to watch that because we have some people come in sometimes that, that don't do that. Okay, so we're going to sell it to Vet Picks at 80. Sold, sold, sold. Okay. I don't know if any of you guys are emergency response people. If you are, you know, thank you for what you do. But this was really cool. Um, I'm not even sure what this was. I don't know if it was like a training set or whatnot. But it is American Red Cross set. So these slides may be used to support class discussion and activities when teaching this course. So these are all slides 
Fifth Emergency Response, and this is a 1993 set for a training course. I haven't been able to find another one of these. But it has, what, 25 per page. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 19, 20, 21, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So I think there's 29 and a half ish. So, because there's one page of page. So this would have been page 30. It's missing five. So, so 30 times 25 is what? 600. And then 125 and 725. So 720 slides. Uh, yeah, as long as they're saying well, that's fine. But it's not a big deal. So that's what you get. It's, I, I guess, it's some kind of course. Um, some kind of educational set of emergency response slides from the American Red Cross, maybe for, for a college or maybe for an exam to get your license. But 700 plus slides, $15 start. That's probably what it'll cost to ship. What does it mean? Responders training course. Maybe that's what it, yeah, that sounds good. Fifteen dollar start. <laughs> so we have Janine in it or Nancy in at 15. <laughs> I was reading Janine's thing and it says 15. 17 with Mary. <laughs> Hi, Mama G. CPR and first aids. Today it's through PowerPoint. <laughs> Kyle. So we have 22 with Mary. <laughs> Guys, be Nice. <laughs> I type in caps sometimes by accident because I hit the button and won't think about it. <laughs> Nancy at 25. So we have Nancy in it. Yep. Nancy in at 25. Who was oh, Mary? Mary Nancy in at 22. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shusha's in at 30. Like I said, I haven't found another one, and this one's got 700 slides with it. So I think this would be good to either split up and sell slides if somebody loses them for their sets or to sell. Nancy in at 35. Mary is out. <laughs> Kyle, we're always nice. Hi, Mama G. <laughs> she's lost who she's a moderator. <laughs> Kyle. Dry adult sarcastic humor. Don't forget the adult part. <laughs> Yes, you are, Mama G. We love Tammy <laughs> and Janine. Shusha's is in at 40. Oh, Janine just called Mama G out. <laughs> 45 and Nancy.
check the screen over. They give us a big book in order to be a firefighter. Oh, cool. Shush is in at 50. Nancy is in at 55. <laughs> what do you guys think about some old... <laughs> Some old postcards. We'll do some old postcards too. <laughs> High picking painting and other stuff. <laughs> Most people do. <laughs> Kim, was it Carolyn that you were trying to get a hold of for another poster? Pick Kim painting another. St Sixty was. Oh, okay. You already sent all hers. Okay. Sixty was shushes. So picking painting another stuff. All of your posters have been sent. My wife said that she sold them. Old postcards, Nancy. Kyle said multiple people call him daddy. <laughs> yep. You know, I, I mentioned your name to my friend Oliver, and he said he used to call you daddy. <laughs> uh, Brian has lots of postcards. I might, I might have bought 25,000 postcards. Might have. I'm not going to count them, so I don't really know the exact number, but it was supposed to be around 25,000. Oh, it's first responders. Sorry. American Red Cross emergency response slide set for the training course. And it has 70 slides. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Yep. We just opened the box today. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Just. <laughs> Well, today's your chance, Nancy. I think we're missing a we're missing a Kathy Bauer today, aren't we? We are. And I think we took all of Kyle Turan's money the other week on <laughs> on World War II posters. He said he's going to have to get a a minus three percent loan from his brother. <laughs> Okay, where are we at? Let's let's give our countdown. Sold, sold, sold. sold, sold for $60. $60. Congratulations, Shushas. I think that's going to be a really good buy. Um, I couldn't find anything about them because I like old photography and stuff. So slides kind of interest me. Okay. You guys want to try some? Do I have more than one person here who wants postcards? Can I get like some ones or in the chat if you guys want postcards? If I get some people who want postcards, we'll we'll do something a little fun, a little different. So we got Andrew. Let's get another. We got Dan in for postcards and a one. If I can get five or six people that say they're interested in in postcards, lost treasure returns. Okay, so we got we have enough people. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, yep, I send invoices Thursday night or Friday morning. It will probably be Friday morning because I might be auctioning until 8 or 9 o'clock on Thursday night. So just to have a little bit of fun and change auctions up on YouTube and get you guys into a new mindset, I'm going to do a stop and drop on this auction. Thank you. So this is a, a style of auction that I like to do just to have fun. So it's going to be $100 for a lot. So as soon as I put enough postcards on this tray for you to feel comfortable paying $100 for, the first person says the word stop 100 wins the lot for $100. Do not say stop until you see enough where you're happy with the tray because 
when as soon as we see stop on our end, that's what you're going to get in the tray. Now, you'll probably see us add a few things afterward because of the lag, but that's just a, a new way of doing an auction. It's a $100 flat. Show you guys what kind of postcards are in here because I haven't looked. So this has 24 Niagara Falls postcards in it. The postcards date back to the 1800s and then up into the 1960s. So this is going to be a stop and drop style. It's not bidding, dollar flat price. Once you're happy at $100, you just say stop, and you will get everything that's on the tray at that time, and it'll come be first come, first serve. I just want to follow this this way, or if it's too confusing, because I really love this style, and I think you can get through a lot of stuff this way. These are linen. Here's one with writing on it, which is pretty awesome. This is 1905. So lots of Niagara Falls, it looks like. Like this one's really early. We'll see you tomorrow. This one is 1906. And I don't know how many I've been putting down. I should count you guys, but. These are all probably 1900 to 1920. Then you get a little newer. Souvenir folders. There's a boat. These are the ones that fold open. <laughs> that one, it's awesome. Miniature. writing on it 1905 also bridge so it looks like this group here is a lot of niagara falls home of shredded wheat cereal cool no problem Nancy. This one's real early. This is 1903. Nineteen oh five. The Queen of the Mist. Robert, he doesn't know what's in them. He yep. that. Yeah, most of the boxes are still sealed closed. No clue what that is. Cranberry Cottage, Millage Inn, Long Island, New York, Walt Whitman's Homestead, 1931, Graduation Exercise. So there are some things that are not postcards in here. Long Island, New York. These are very cool. Willow's Landing, Tuckered in New Jersey. But look how big this is compared to a normal postcard. So it's like a really large 
postcard. These are probably for 40s. Rose Company, giant postcard. So these are all of that same image. Five, six, seven, eight. Here's more of them. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's like 20 of those giant ones. Tuckerton Yacht Club, Tuckerton, New Jersey. Very cool with all the old boats. So there's like another 10 or so there. Tuckerton Yacht Club. Willow Landing. So there's a bunch of those. I just put like another stack of probably 30 in there. These are just old, unused stock. And you get East Lake Pocachong, Tuckerton, New Jersey. So these are all from Tuckerton, New Jersey. So there's those. Let's grab down into the box a little bit. What are you confused about? Yeah, what are you confused about, Michelle? As soon as somebody feels like the, the lot is worth $100 to them, they just have to say stop. It's a stop and drop, and you get everything on the tray, all of the postcards. And I keep filling the tray until somebody says stop. Nineteen forty-two. This is a Raphael Tuck postcard. Sussex, England. Uh, and drop the rare okay. Congratulations. That lot's yours at 100. Sold, sold, sold. And what happens is sometimes, like, you may see a rare postcard go down that's a three or $400 postcard. Somebody says stop before you, they win it. There's no bidding it up. There's no, you know, nothing like that. So now I'm just going to count them as I throw them into the tray. We're going to do it one more time. This is just to get you guys in, used to this in case I decide to do some auctions this way with comics and other things. Because there definitely will be lots that, you know, maybe would get bid up to two or three or $400. But since time is money, if I can do these faster, it'll make more sense for me to do them this way, even though I'm getting less money. Number three, four, five, six, it's a linen one, seven, this one's cute, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, I think a lot of people collect these with the Indians on them, 16, 1907, 17, 18, yeah. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 1912, 36, 37, wow, these are cool, 38, 1950, 
39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. 48. World's Fair, 1964. 49, 50, 51. This is World's Fair also, 52. World's Fair, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. This is foreign from 1907. 59, 60, 61. Real photo postcard, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, another real photo one, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 72. some baseball stuff. 73, 74, 75, this is the UN, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, the bathing suits, 89, that's a specific hotel, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That one's got a cool stamp on it. 26. So that's 126. That one's cool. 127, 128, 129, 30. Now I'm going to have Pam time one of these just to see if it works better for us time wise. And I can always pick up the speed. I'm dropping them too. Okay. So one, two, three. There's a pack with an Indian on it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That one's cool. Look at that. This is Pan American Exposition, 1901. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 
47, 48, 49, real photo, 50, public library in Ohio, 51, 52. Look at this one. Globe Warnecke Company. So they made those things, world's best bookcases. That's 53. This is 54. Dayton, Ohio, 55. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, Cincinnati, Ohio, 66, 67, 68. Some people like them with them marked on the back because it gives them a little personal touch. Some people like them unused. 69, 70, aviation barracks at Ohio State University, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, Zanesville, Ohio, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 80 Art Museum, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Kyle, are you entertaining, Pam? <laughs> I do, Kyle. 91, here's Notre Dame. 92, military. So it's probably World War One era. 93, 94, this is also military. Four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. This one's got glittery stuff on it. Ninety nine, one hundred, one, two, three. Look at the old cars. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, a hundred and twelve, a hundred and thirteen. 114, 115, 16. Look, where's Quasimodo at? 117. That one, that's cool. 118. Sold the purple lily. Okay. Let's see what I have up here. Pam handed me more stuff up here. Okay, I don't know what's in here. This is regular auction style, guys. Regular option. $10 start, whatever's in this tray. I don't know because Kim didn't tell me yet. National Baseball Hall of Fame bags. A 1892 New York recorder souvenir. A really old map of progressive outline map of South America. Company Publishers, 1886, right there, has somebody's name on it. This one looks hand-drawn. goes this way. And it's drawn on the back of an old engraving, an 1850s engraving. Uh, these look like... Oh, here's some... And crochet design, crochet square. So ten dollars start on this lot. It's it's a bid lot. So if you're into crocheting, here's a whole bunch of this type of stuff. Crochet child's dress. Where's Amber from Ooh Ah Crochet? So here's a bunch more of the crochet doily plans and whatever they're called, patterns, hats. So there's a whole big stack of those. I said the 1800s maps are really cool. So there's that. Here's this. 
the calendar topper, the Baseball Hall of Fame. There's a bunch more of the crochet design. Paper is 1981, DuPont, something, 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 something. You got a lot of stuff, maybe. Get two for that. 14 for Pine, Burr, Dolly, Doily. Oh, Elizabeth Hindelson. So here's a whole bunch of those pattern crochet instruction things. And then there's all these work basket from 1965. Home arts, needle catalogs. So I'm guessing these all have to do with like crocheting and knitting and patterns and stuff that I have no clue about. I can barely tie my shoes. It even has like a little pattern inside of it for little animals, I guess for a kid. You can make little play stuffed animals. Dollies. Baby. So 1965. Another one, 1965. 1966. 1966. We do not take bids from OG killers. OG little killers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, gee, you, the email address that you sent for your invoice, invoice was sent at email address. Make sure that it is the correct email address for your PayPal. On the one that you sent, but until that bill is paid, we can't take any other bids because it's been well over almost two months. And I, actually, I believe we've resold that lot. Yeah, we've resold that lot, so don't pay that bill, but confirm with us that you did get the, the invoice. Sweaters and things crochet book. Priscilla Doys. And actually, I think I replied to the email that you had sent to me. Sweaters, Red Heart. So these are, I don't know how old. Ruffled doilies, Coates and Clarks. So I guess those are companies that make thread and stuff. So this is 1959. Patron Red Heart Yarns. These are 1960. The sweater Story. Sweaters from Red Heart Yarns, 1959. So that's probably 1960. And this one here looks to be about the same time period. So that's what you get in this lot one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 
35 of those. This huge stack here, so there's 36 of those. And then these are all like patterns and other stuff. So there's probably another 30 or 40 pieces there. And the old map, 1886. And then the still engraving that somebody drew a map on the back of from 1850s. And that's what you get in this lot. <laughs> CNA at 45. <laughs> Are they still giving each other crap? <laughs> <laughs> Doily. Kyle is out. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Oh. Just like this. Now we got all three Kyles in here. Mm-hmm. Who's on first? <laughs> Kyle. Who's on second? Kyle. Who's you can almost have a whole baseball team just to Kyle's. Good. So we have forty five with CNA. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's Kim, Brian's wife. My my at home wife. Yeah, I don't do night auctions, Harold. Well, not most of the time. No, unfortunately, I have a life. <laughs> <laughs> Got to catch them all. There's five of us. <laughs> Sold, sold, sold. It's a CNA. CNA General Store. Congratulations. Okay, that gets rid of a, another random box there. Yeah, she's doing the Facebook stuff. Okay, you guys love the Shackman stuff, and Pam loves to sell you the Shackman stuff, so she made you some Shackman stuff. So here's a box of Shackman. This is a 12 by 12 by 6 box. I don't know what's in it yet. Because, well, Pam made it. So if you like it, thank Pam. If you don't like it, blame Pam. Let's see. Wow, oh, a little porcelain baby doll. A little porcelain baby. It's a girl. I thought it was funny. And that's all that matters inside my head. Okay, so you get one, two, three, four, five. I'm taking it that these are all the same. They all say the same thing on the box. So there's six. Then you get these miniature folding boxes. So they look like little old cigar store boxes i guess there's seven different set of seven replica of antique originals interesting so you get those you get the smiley positive enablers and there's stickers underneath here that you get to put the stickers where you want to cover for your positivity oh i haven't seen these before these are neat Holiday Sprite gift tag stickers. So these are 1999 Shackman. Yeah, the little boxes. Maybe you make them for like doll houses to put in your doll, like general stores and stuff. So there's eight. And these are embossed, peel off and press holiday stickers. Let's see. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there's 24 of those, and there's more. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So there's 48, four dozen of those. It looks like there's probably a dozen of these, which are color reveals about you. But, so it looks like a dozen or more, maybe. Here's more positive enablers. And then, and then you get the cute little doggies. These are embossed. So embossed like little doggy greeting cards. These are 1998 Shackman. Obviously Shackman's no longer around. And this looks like a dozen here. But check this out. There's a dozen of the little doggy things in each one of these. One, two, three, four, four, five. It's a dozen of the doggy cards. Six dozen. And then it looks like there's two dozen of these. So there's eight dozen pieces. It's nine. And then there was four of these. So there's 13 dozen sets or carded pieces. So that's 156, 758, 159. And then six of these. So 165 pieces in this box. So 165 pieces in the Shackman box. So it's a lot of stuff, and we have not had, so nobody else has these. That's the first time we found those, and this is the first time we found these little these little miniature boxes too. That's all we have here. Oh, okay, more of the little. Have a box of snakes. Too. Andrew can't be in at eighty-two. Andrew <laughs> has to be in at eighty-five. Because Shusha's is in at 80. We're $5 increments now. Nantique is in at 85. Shush is in at 90. Hmm. So we have 90 with Shusha's. There's over 165 pieces. So we're at 90 with Shusha's currently looking for 95. 95 with Lily. I like the fact that these are embossed. They got like the little fairy wings. You can see. On the back, you can see. Nineteen ninety-nine. It's hard to think that's twenty-five years ago. Is it? No, twenty. Twenty-two years ago. Shushes in at a hundred. So we have a hundred with shushes. Andrew Campbell's out. The little boxes, yeah. <laughs> we have one ten with Lily. Shushes 
110 with Lily. There's 165 packs or pieces in this lot. Going twice. <laughs> One twenty with Farm Girl Picker. So we have a it's between Lily and Farm Girl Picker, I think. 130 with Lily. <laughs> no, it was still less than a dollar a piece. It's a bargain. 140 with Farm Girl. And we do thank everybody who is here. We know that you guys can be doing many other things in your day. But sitting here hoping that we put something up that is up your alley or perfect for you is the same reason we're here. Hoping to find you something really cool. I'm going to actually grab some tray lots of toys while you guys are bidding. And that stuff there. Put this over. And I'm going to grab some comic books. And I promised we would make a tray. Mama G, don't wait on us. You're supposed to pregame before you come here. That way, even I look good. The more you drink before you come to our auctions, the funnier I seem to you. Purple Lily is out. That will be sold to Nancy for one seventy. She was the only one in. Okay. Let us sell it to Nancy for 170 then. Congratulations, Nancy. Okay, so from the comic collection, I have a couple boxes that have like magazine type things in them and larger format stuff. So you're going to bid on whatever's in this box. $10 start. Um, I just kind of grabbed stuff out of the magazine box to do this. So I'll show you guys. So weirdo number two by last gasp. If you look here, it's a Robert Crumb artwork. And these are in amazing condition. That's the big thing in this comic collection. Like that's Mr. Natural. Weirdo, only the best people read number four. Our Henry Crumb, 1981. So there's two. Here's number three. So what number is this? If a number one's a wee wee and a number two is a poo, what number is it when you climb in the toilet yourself and flush? It's number five. Here's number three. Oh, maybe I answered my own question. There's number three. Here's number 13. 
So Robert Crumb. Number 15, 1985, Robert Crumb. Number 16, some of these are really good too, just so you guys know. In this issue, religion, crime, food, and sex, in that order. Or maybe it's backwards. So that's number 20. Number 27. This is a story. So many comments I could say on that one. I'm just going to frame. Number 28. Then we have Sticky Boy. Oh, Stick Boy, sorry. 1989, Pantographics. Then we get into a couple magazines that are comic related. Comic Scenes Magazine. This is whenever Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came in. They jump into live action, so this is announcing the movie. And the condition of these is really awesome. Starlog, again, Turtles announcement and Robocop 2. So with the Grissom, 1989 Comics Review number 41, Batman. Comics Review number 42, Calvin and Hobbes. The Starlog Yearbook, the Buster Keaton Batman. And National Lampoon, 1990. But look at the condition of these books. They're awesome. So that's what you get in this lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen pieces in this lot. Lots of great underground stuff. So seventeen pieces. Okay, so we have 90 with Scotty looking for 95 style. You have to uh, make sure that you're registered to be able to bid. So if you are registered, you have to just let me know that you sent me a registration and we'll give you a wrench so that you can bid. Carl's in at a hundred. And Mary L, if you're here, just let us know. Ryan Taylor, if you're here, let me know. And Stephanie, if you're here, also make a comment. That way we can give you wrenches. Okay, we have 110 with Big Sky Flipper. Furry Freak Brothers. You don't partake in tomatoes. <laughs> yep, Stephanie, here you go. Okay. Okay, Chow Mein Mom, if you're here, just make a comment so we can give you a wrench as well. And Stephanie, you're, you should have a blue wrench. So we have 110 with Big Sky Flipper, so we're looking for 120 on the slot. But 
Chow Mein Mom, if you're here, just make a comment so that we can... And David G, if you are here, just make a comment so that I can give you a wrench as well. Okay. So Chow Mein Mom, you have a wrench. You are able to bid. Okay, so we're at 110. Sold, 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 sold. One ten. And if you can write that on a, just on a piece of regular paper over there. Okay. Here's the next lot. This also came from the comic deal that I bought this weekend. So again, this is. You'll see I did magazines and stuff on the top, and then it goes down to comic books. So Amazing Heroes number three. This is an older, like, uh, fanzine kind of thing. This is a hardcover graphic novel, Wolverine and Nick Fury. Um, the Scorpio Connection. Sometimes you feel like a nut, and sometimes you don't. Here's some gay comics. The smartest and wittiest gay and lesbian cartoonist. Here is a Punisher hardback with dust jacket. Really nice condition called Intruder. Graphic novel. I think these are from a role-playing game or something. Because of the way that they have like information about the characters inside. I think they're just neat posters, but on the back there's information. Powers and weapons, height, weight, so forth and so on. So there's a couple of those. That one. George Gallagos, yes. Yeah, he's from our Facebook. Prime Cuts magazine, Newsweek with The Simpsons, Star Trek on Entertainment. Now that the new Trek movie is coming out, Star Trek's starting to get a nice takeoff. And these are unused. But Jeff wrote his name on the top of that one. But here's another one. Here is a Mad Magazine from April of 1965. The King Kong style cover. Here is December of 1965. Let's see if this is it's there. Hypnotic issue. And that's what you get in this lot. Maybe. Maybe you get more. Who knows? So we have 20 with Andrew Campbell. It's good to see you, George. Thank you for coming to the auction. That picks us in at 25. J&J came in just a second late. So we have vet picks in at 25. So next bill would be 27 or better on this lot. This is 1986. Here's June of 1960, Mad Issue number 55. I'm going to add that in here. Here's January of 1966. It's missing the cover. Uh, unless the cover is just hold it over, but I think it's missing. Nope, nope, it's there. This is issue number 100. The 100th okay, issue yeah. of MAD. That's awesome. So these are 1960s MADs. 37 with Jeffrey. <laughs> 
40 with dragon smoke. Dragon smoke at 40, yep. <laughs> oh, no problem, George. So we have 42 with Connie's books and things, 44 with Kyle Elliott. You guys want bigger? Let's go bigger. We like bigger here, right? Mad issue number 78 from 1963. Super early issue. This one's a really iconic issue. A lot of people will look for this one. 1966, Mad issue number 105, Batman and Robin. Graphic novel by Solitaire. This is for the role-playing game, the DC role-playing game. For the Otherware Quest. So that's for like a Dungeons & Dragons type game. Overstreet Comic Book Monthly, number 13, from 1994. It's a big lot. It's a lot, a lot. since we have some Star Trek stuff in here. Let's go real big, guys. What do you think? Real big. Let's go bigger. Let's go. Star Trek Magazine, Next Generation. Star Trek. So that's issue number 30. This is issue number 29. Issue 28. Issue 27. Issue 26. Issue number 25, 24, Deep Space Nine, Deep Space Nine, the ugly stepchild of Star Trek, Wizard issue number 200 from Wizard Comics Magazine, the Wizard issue with Wolverine. This one's still sealed in the bag. So Wizard Comics there, and Star Trek, the official fan club. So you get all of that in this lot for one money. So it's a big lot. There's like 30 pieces or so. 72 with J&J. &J. We're at 70 with not $2 increments. We don't take $2 okay. increments. So. so we have Mr. Hot Wheels in at 70. The next bid would be 75. There you go. j and is in at 75. Next bid would be 80. Tony came in just a second late. So we have 70, 75 with J&Js. We're looking for 80. In this lot, I'm gonna start putting the stuff into a tray just to keep it moving for you guys, but I will show it as I'm putting it in. These are also from the role playing game. These are hardback graphic novels.
number 78. This one's in really nice shape, issue 100. Issue number 55. December of 1965, issue number 99. So we have 99 and 100. Um, let us see. Let's see if I know how to tell if it's a first printing. And I'm going to show you this part just in case this tells us if it's a first printing or not, because I don't know how to tell. Yes, it is a first printing. It says it. First printing, March 1989. Uh, I would say the condition is pretty good, actually, for a paperback book. Like, there's a little rub mark here. But overall, the condition is pretty nice, good. No rips or tears. And then the last one, number 94. So you get everything on that tray. Where are we at? We're at 90 with Tony. 90 with Tony. Looking for 95 or better? Yeah, no worries, Kyle. Like I said, I bought this stuff on Saturday, picked it up on Sunday, unloaded it Sunday night, made the video for you guys, and here we are Tuesday after the holiday, and you guys are getting a bit on it, just like I got it. But the condition of everything so far in the boxes as I'm making the trays for you guys is phenomenal. Sold, 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 done. Nice buy, Tony. <laughs> okay. This is the last tray of magazine stuff that I have over here. I might have to go grab another tray. So wizard, wizard, this one's still sealed. Wizard, ten dollars start on the slot. Whatever's in this tray. Wizard, wizard. And this one has like some kind of card thing in the back. Then we go into some obscure like graphic novel magazines. Eclipse, Starlog Yearbook with Batman, All Star Action Heroes, Batman, Indiana Jones, The Punisher, James Bond. Psycho Comics number two, made by Crime Romance Special. Look, look, mock comics or look. It's very interesting. It's like an underground comic, probably. Panther. This is issue number one. This is a Warren magazine. So one of the older Warren magazines. Nerve Go Man, issue number one in the white cover. I think this is really good, if I remember right. Comics Journal number 47. Comics Journal number 92 with the underground Robert Crumb art. Comics St. Look at this. Stan Lee. Man, Stan was young in that picture. That's pretty awesome. So this is probably 80s. Premier issue, comic scene. Starlog presents comic scene. But with Stan Lee on the cover, that's fantastic. Will Eisner's Spirit, number 31. Crazy, and this is obviously from um, like Animal House. Starlog Yearbook with Beauty and the Beast. Starlog Science Fiction with Batman. And 84 Heavy Metal Magazine. 
But my favorite thing is definitely the Stan Lee comics. So we have 35 with Jeffrey Stevens. We have 40 with Van. This might be gradable, guys. Like this. Look at that corner. Oh, Jim. Yeah. These are cool over here. The Robert Crumb. Psycho Comics is very cool. This is Pantha issue number one. Warren Magazines. They made all like the famous monsters of Filmland and Vampirilla and all that stuff. There are KR in at 55. J and J in at 60. Fans in at 70. JR Care is out. So we have 70 with Van. Okay. Oh, Carolyn, not Connie. Okay. We have seventy five with J and J picking. So there we go. Sorry, guys. It might hit mute by accident. <laughs> Van's in at 80. <laughs> Van's winning right now. Have we sold? Congratulations, Van. I love that comic scene. Okay. Okay. This is also from that. Okay, check these out, guys. Early Vampirillas. Conditions really pretty nice.
pretty nice. Issue number 93. Issue number 97. And that one's got a crease line at the top. 109. Issue 110. Issue number 90. Issue number 112. Issue number 108. So it looks like we have 108, 109, 110. I don't see 111. And then we have National Lampoons. $10 start on this lot, guys. Ray, Ray Bradbury, Frost and Fire, science fiction graphic novel from DC. Here is Rook, a Warren magazine. This is very cool. This one's awesome, too. Graphic novel from Marvel, The Squadron Supreme. Death of a Universe. So square bound graphic novel. This is in great shape. The Sinners, Piranha Press. Reed Fleming, World's Toughest Milkman. National Lampoon. Cracked, Starlog, Indiana Jones preview, Batman, Leviathan, Beauty and the Beast, War of the Worlds, another Starlog with Batman, and look at the condition. Like The stuff that's coming out of this collection for its age is really nice. And then Star Trek V. But the vampire books. 1980, I think. This one is 1982. This one's 1980. So that's number 90. That's number 93 is 1981. So 80 through this one's 1982. So 1980 through 1983. We're in at 120 with Jeffrey. What's up, Dave? We have Van in at 130. Yep, cans in at 130. <laughs> I just made Pam spit out a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Didn't know you were a spitter. Can I see number? Let me see which one that one is. This one's 108. 93 is this one all the way up to the top. No, which is what? Read Fleming, that one. That one. I don't know what's going on. Um, how do I know? Yep. Yep, those are Warren magazines. So how do I know which ish, which printing this is? Volume 1, number 1. Entire contents, copyright 1986. Oh, third printing, August 1986. It says third printing, August 1986. He's asking me all these technical questions. Gotcha. He's just lucky it says it on the inside because I would had no clue otherwise. The Vampirillo books are awesome. And that squadron, I think this one's cool too. 
because this is a thick one and it's in great condition. Like, definitely gradable. I just don't know if they actually grade graphic novels. And if they don't, they should. We're at one forty to fall. And remember, shipping's included. <laughs> have some 1990 Marvel superhero unopened wax boxes they want to sell me. <laughs> One fifty with Danko. One sixty with Carl. We have a hundred and fifty people here. Thank you guys for being here. If you're not bidding currently and you need to do something with your fingers, hit that thumbs up for us. It helps push us out to the YouTube's community on the interwebs. Yep. They definitely grade almost anything non-sports now in, in cards. So we're at 160 with Carl looking for 170 or better. I'm going to start putting the stuff back in the box. I'll show it to you guys as I put it back in the box, just in case. It's kind of cool. Reminds me of like Xeroids. Congratulations, Carl. Okay, let's do a toy lot. Pam made this lot up. So it is some little Batman guy. It's like like rock and sock and robots. Yeah, X Men. Now this has some weapons inside for a Batman action figure. I think that it goes to this Batman action figure. Here is a Batman spin pop candy. Do not eat the lollipop, Harold, or anyone else. And then here is a Batman trading cards, mini vinyl, wait, vinyl mini sales randomly inserted. I didn't look in the box. Um, Pam made this lot up. So I don't know if there's any vinyl mini sales in here. So don't know, but Batman cards. And since they do grade anything, they might start grading these. Hard, 
hard. <laughs> Look, and then there's even a couple little Aladdin cards in the bottom. Oh, look, so somebody opened the box and like the duplicates they put, they put them in kind of in order. So if these cards are gradable, since they grade everything. You see that? No, interesting. <laughs> Here's a couple other cards. Like Look, the creator's universe. <laughs> Mars attacks. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh, let me think about it again. No. <laughs> and a dollar's a dollar, but I ain't putting that in my mouth. <laughs> Pam said this this tray needs some love. And she's the one who made this tray, so I just want to point that out. So she came up with the executive saucer shooter. Is that really what's in here? It's wrapped. I'm gonna go with the ass. I don't want to unwrap it. I didn't want to wrap it. Yeah. I want to unwrap it. Because it's odd that it's wrapped like a Christmas gift wrapped. We're going to unwrap it. It is. Okay. Somebody took it for a Christmas gift. I don't want to get in trouble for unwrapping or opening something. I'm not yeah, that's, to. that's not the original wrap. If it was the original factory seal, I would say no, you should not open it. There you go. So you get the Park Avenue shooter toy. I'm going to give this to Pam to put this on. Oh, no. I can slide it on. Just... I got that picture. In the okay. So there's those interesting toys. But wait. There's more. is also going to go with it. Ooh, this is awesome. I didn't see this. So this is a yellow Power Ranger, but she is die-cast metal from Japan. So fully die-cast metal yellow Power Ranger. So that's awesome. This guy got screwed in the cartoon. So big. Give me a hug. He's nuts and bolts for you. You have Buzz Lightyear with the another Buzz Lightyear. Um I don't know what this is from. Mulan, maybe? Uh, you've got a Santa Claus <laughs> ornament. A This guy's always glad, apparently. Hurt. I don't know. This is Mulan. So I was right. That had to be Mulan. 
we have a Spider-Man. This, I believe, is Wednesday and Pugsley Adams. Little, like, PVC-type figure. This is... Oh, here. Yeah. Another Adams Family figure. Lurch. For some odd reason, they're a little sticky. I don't know what Pam was doing with these things, but... It's just the type of plastic that they are, the type of rubber. You have to put... I, I don't remember what it is on them. So this is Tales of the Crypt, the Crypt Keeper. This is Izzy from the Olympics, the Olympics PVC figure. I have no clue who this guy is. Uh, maybe some kind of a DC supervillain, maybe? I think it says Marvel on it. You know, Marvel superhero, bad guy. Little frying pan. This is my favorite one out of this lot here. So here's all these like weapons and accessories for Harley Quinn. Those are all her weapons and accessories. Okay. I need to unpin here. this for okay. slack over here. It's the hate monger. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because somebody timed him out. Like 30 people timed him out. All of us. Okay. Guys, make sure that only mods such as Janine, Mama G, myself, and Pam take I, care of I everybody. Them. It was my fault. I did it. Okay. Yeah, it was my fault that I pinned them. I just hit the wrong button, but I can't unpin them. Yeah, I don't know if you can unpin them until... No, Carl, the Batman cards are just... They're opened, but there's like five of each card. So somebody went through them and put them in order. So we have Andrew Campbell in at 32 on the slot. There. It might just not. Yeah, not even until he's done. I think the mom will do it and then we do it after I. Yeah, it was me. I pinned him. It's my fault. <laughs> Hi, Harry. <laughs> It doesn't let me. Three dots is like them, but it doesn't let us, Mama G. Yeah, I can only unhide the user on the channel, put user in timeout, or report at this point. <laughs> Midwest Becker. <laughs> We can pin you next week if you would like. <laughs> so we're at 39 with U.S. Champion. What's that? I don't know. I don't know. Our... I didn't. Third man. No, U.S. Champion. Just if you get a chance, I don't. I think you might have got a a wrench from T. So if you get a chance, just make sure you send me your information for registration because I don't think I have it. <laughs> I was just looking in the email. What's up, Mr. Harry Humstone? <laughs> Oh, it's Tom. Okay. 
Well, that's easier. That's why. Yeah. I think he told us last week. Yeah. That's all right. So we're good. No, no, no. He's good. He's one of my Facebook customers. I'm just not used to seeing the name. Yep, yep. You're good. You're good, Tom. Kyle, yeah, it doesn't let us, unfortunately. So you get to see your buddy up there the whole time. <laughs> So, he's blocked from other channel. Yeah. There. I had to unhide him. There we go. Brian fixed it. Good job, Brian. Yeah, I got it. It's it's off. So we have Tony in at 50. Yeah. Guys, please only let Mama G, Janine, or myself, or Pam, maybe even not Pam sometimes. But... <laughs> there was like 20 people one time. Yeah. That might have been what it was. It just froze it. I don't normally block people. And Mama G, if you get a chance, and can copy his name and just send it to me so that I can put him on the block list. So we're at 55 with Tom. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, you'll shoot your eye out. <sighs> That's how you go blind, Kyle. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Mama, you said you can't touch it. <laughs> uh. I think it was just the consistent numerous questions and it was the same question. And he's had a bunch of other channels get rid of him, so. We apparently copied and pasted the same question. Five. All right. <laughs> okay, we sold. We sold it, we sold it, we sold. More stuff, more stuff, more stuff. This is a bad monkey. <laughs> I like that one even better. <laughs> sold. No, just put just put Tom Shoot. Okay. Or you and you can write his regular name just so that I get used to looking at it and I can add it then to his his PayPal invoices. Okay, here is a little box of I don't know what Pam put in this box, and I don't know why in the heck it's not full, but. Aren't these little, like, lunchboxy things? I don't have anything on them. Okay. Little silver lunchboxes. A Joan Baez little record. From Ford. A happy crimble and a very near New Year cassette tape. Bells. <laughs> the blah. I bells. I don't understand Christmas recordings. Uh, look, guys, this could either be something extremely rare or it could be poop. I really have no clue. Well, I don't know what it is. Look, it's Beatles. It could be like a home recording, or it could be done at a concert, or it could be something amazing. Who knows? Who that? I don't know, but I'm playing with Mr. Wright right now. Leave me alone. I'm spooning. Gargoyles. Ooh, makes sparks. I wonder how long I can amuse myself with this. 
Shiny. Okay. Pinocchio keychain. Pinocchio Cricket PVC figures. Pinocchio PVC figure. Pinocchio and Figaro PVC figure. Jiminy Cricket on a Pinocchio pencil. Undone, unused. And Pinocchio dancing on the pole. I don't know. And these two weird metal lunch boxes. And a Viewmaster set. Lonesome Ghost. Mickey's Trailer and Boat Builders. Viewmaster Reels. Here is a Fantasia tin. At some time it probably had candy. Bonbons in it. Because it says bonbons. I like saying bon bon. Bon bons. So, me. Okay, and we got some movie promo pin backs. Journey to the New World from Waterworld Summer of 1995 when the movie was coming out. So the employees would get these. Earth 2. This time we are aliens. I think that was the Will Smith movie. We'll go to Apollo 13 coming this summer. Houston, we have a problem. And Beyond the Myth, Hercules lives the heroes. So, guys, this is the Hercules, like the strong guy, not the Hercules, Hercules, Hercules from Nutty Professor. Mm. Viewmaster International Group, Incorporated Portland, Oregon, made in the USA. 3D Viewmaster is what it says. Hope that helps. Are they laughing at my Hercules thing? Yeah. <laughs> that was the best part of that whole show. Look at him. He's growing so strong. Hey, my little Hercules. 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 Okay, so... I'm going to say yes to all of your questions. See, there's the felt nub. I don't think this has ever been used, to be honest. <laughs> See, there's the felt. And it is in amazing condition. Like I said, this could be extremely, extremely rare. Or this could be somebody's homemade thing that they made... But they actually did a really good job and put this nifty little card with it. But it is a Maxwell case. It is a Maxwell tape. It's when they're all sitting around the table. They're all like farting and stuff. She's like, literally like, do that again. She's like, ooh, look at him. He's my little Hercules. She's all like, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> I'm glad I can amuse you guys. <laughs> Who's Maxwell? <laughs> <laughs> Maxwell's the company that made the tape. See, it even says it on the case. It says Maxwell. So it says Maxwell there. It says Maxwell here. That was their entertainment for the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maxwell, Maxwell. Maxwell. 
Mexicali, Mexico. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, you guys got me doing Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at 37 with somebody <laughs> Carl <laughs> I think I'm crying <laughs> <laughs> no oh, that's that's Folgers but Folgers <laughs> in my cup 39 with big sky <laughs> What are the two lunch boxes? Um, they're there are two lunch boxes for a very small sandwich when you're on a diet. So you put like half of one sandwich in this one and the other half in this one and you send your kid to school and you say, you say, if you guys only eat what fits in these lunch boxes, you'll never look as big as Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to go on that note. <laughs> Look, Janine's trying. <laughs> We're all in at 41. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't think I can pick any more today. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, two. Yeah, it's two more. No, we don't have to do an even number every day, Brian. <laughs> Mark, it's always weird in here. <laughs> but we're having fun. Is there a freaking bit somewhere? Yes, Carl's in a forty-one. <laughs> You even wrote it. 43 with vintage treasures. Hi, Paul. Oh. <laughs> 45 with Carl. Carl just wants one of those lunch boxes. <laughs> and put one of those in each hand and clang them together like one of those monkeys. <laughs> those are the noises that I hear in my head all the time. And then I realize it's just Pam. <laughs> Carl gave up. Carl, you don't want my mini lunch boxes anymore. <laughs> you know how many dinners I had to buy this girl to get her to offer me a box? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the fact that I curve him outward. Hercules. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Hi, honey. Okay. Okay. Huh? Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're are we sold? <laughs> I think so. Sold, sold, sold. Fifty dollars. Pam made you guys stirrers. Stirrers. Pam's gonna leave me, but I'm gonna keep selling to you. Playboy stirrers. 
Hi. Look, there's a black and a white one. It does. Okay, so this is from Thunderbird Casino. Some of these are actually, so certain hotels and certain casinos command more money than others. The Claridge with the horsey. So there are hundreds, Bahamas Princess, the Brighton Hotel, Casino. These are from that casino collection. Uh, this is the MGM Grand and something else. This is Club 3-4 with an elephant. So this is from the Grand. This is the old Mullen Hotel in Aruba. This is the Trump Taj Mahal. This is the Brighton Hotel in Atlantic City. The Wild Wild West Casino. Harrah's. Internet Works. Golden Nugget, Atlantic City, Las Vegas. This one is from Miller's Restaurant, Woolworth Building in New York. This is also the Brighton, I believe. The Claridge, Atlantic City. So these are very cool. And there's hundreds of them. Hundreds. Pegasus. <laughs> Caesars Tahoe. The Hilton Hawaiian Village. So Wild Wild West. There's more of those. A little pitchforky one with a keyhole. Eagle is what it says on it. A bunch more of the Playboy Bunny ones. So you got little tiny ones. Those are steak skewers. More stir rivers. Circus Circus. Casino. Continental Plaza. There's another Harrah's. That's the Thunderbird. And then there's another whole box. The Beef Baron. Oh, check this out. Hess's Department Store with the Genie. This is really cool. This is from Allentown, PA. Really, really hard to find stuff from Hess's. Like the plates and stuff bring a lot of money. Plaza. Is that, Pam? No, it's not. Sweet. This is Mac Tools on it. A little screwdriver. That's awesome. Bally's Casino. Runway 22. Dayton Biltmore. I wasn't born whenever that place was still around, but Pam loved it. I don't know what that one is. Riviera, maybe. The Playboy Club. The Grand. The Mirage Las Vegas. So there are two, three. What's this one? This one got an elephant on it. John es Escugagaga's Nugget, Leave Nothing to Chance. Okay, so you got 10, the Luxor. So here is 10 pieces. So there's probably three or 400 of these stirrers in here. And I know like the Playboy ones do okay. Like Trump's Castle. So there are hundreds, literally, talk about an awesome reseller lot for the casino collectors and hotels. Look at this one. This one says, oh, look. Nancy and Frank, September 27, 1970. It's probably like Frank's, but... Or maybe it was Nancy Noel. Who knows? 
Here's a Sands Casino with a birdie. Pretty bird. You sold Petey to the blanket? Pretty bird. Tropicana. Here's Happy Till They Get Married. I mean, Happy Till Death Do Them Part. Su this was Susan and Chuck. Susan and Chuck. Caesars Boardwalk Regency. There's a bunch. Man, there's a lot. There, you know, there could be as many as four or 500, but I would say a, a good safe estimate is 300. Here's Treasure Island. Rick's Cafe Americana. Ready? You have to read this. Don't read it out loud, though. Uh, there's my Mickey. <laughs> um, oh, she retracted it. <laughs> I think you can click on it and and re-see it. Maybe. No, I think maybe only if somebody else does it. Yeah. Well, how am I supposed to read her comment if she didn't leave it up there? She said, get your car playboy sticks here. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, only hard after you've been the Playboy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Drink. <laughs> so we're at one thirty with Danko. <laughs> I don't know what, what hotel is this one. Oh, Frontier Hotel, Las Vegas, Nevada. I don't think that one's there anymore. One forty with Nancy. Hi, Julie. Julie, I sent uh, I sent Bemos's stuff to her. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any fun here. Yeah, I'm such a hard ass. <laughs> All of Pam's collections are filled with items that disappear from the warehouse. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about Sally that's sitting over here that's still sitting here waiting to go away. <laughs> so I stopped looking at her and knowing that I got to give her to you. Yes, it is such a boring place. <laughs> <laughs> Pam's allowed to drink wine while she's on duty. And it's not because Pam's any more fun when she drinks wine. <laughs> but it's because she's not yelling at me while her mouth's on the wine bottle. <laughs> I don't yell at you. I didn't yell at you at all today. <laughs> I don't yell very often. Yeah, since you've gotten old, older, you know, like an old dog lost its teeth. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, Ryder's birthday is on Friday. You drive her to drink. I don't drive her anywhere. She got her own car, and it's nicer than mine. <laughs> okay, I promised that I'd do one of these. So. Yes, I am security. <laughs> yep, she's the hatchet woman. She hires all my employees. <laughs> okay, so hopefully we got some uh, Pokemon people in here. Got the Pokemon people. Okay, so let's uh, let's do some Pokemons. I promised we'd do some, so we're going to do some. Gonna leave. Combuscusicken? I don't know who that is. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Here's a charmillion. Eighteen, nineteen. Squirtle. Twenty-one. That's twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. This is a uh, base at two. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Forty. Forty. Forty-two. Forty-three. These are from the original base set. One hundred and two on the bottom. Forty-four. Forty-five. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 red cheeks, 51, 52, 53, 54, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. You guys know I'm not going to leave it at that, right? Seventy-two. This is a shiny one. This is also a shiny one in Japanese. Seventy-four. Another vile plume, shiny. Base at two. Seventy-five. Seventy-six. Genghis Khan. Seventy-seven. Emerald Metatite. Now this one's got damage. So I'm not even going to count that one. Umbreon. This one's holographic all over the whole thing except for inside the picture. So that's what, 78? I think that's 78. Here's Lapras. Hologram. 79. And another Lapras hologram. There's 80. How about Raichu? Hologram from the base set. And then... Eevees. These are 1999 ones. Two, three, four Eevees. Metapod. Double white stars. So we're definitely doing about, I mean, there's about a hundred right there. We're going to give you some more. Some more hologrammy ones coming up. Twitter dial. Schneezel. Here, I think this is a good one. Hitmochan hologram from the base set. That one's in really, really nice shape. That one's probably gradable. Actually, a lot of these are probably gradable. Can I show the Raichu again? Sure. We're 14 of 102. And it is really nice and clean. But the Laprises are awesome too. And the Genghis Khan. And the Japanese version of the Genghis Khan.
So we have Jim in at 50. <laughs> so this is about 125 cards and there are two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve holograms including the hitmochan that is really good and the raichu which is pretty good and the lapras's We're at 55 with Connie's books and things. Yeah. Oh, we're at 60 with Carl. Oh, there's promos. I didn't even see those. Uh, Brian, I don't think so. You missed some base set holograms. And the fossil hologram Lapras's. And these are all holograms, the Genghis Khan and everything. Huh? It's because I keep looking at it like, oh, I should be selling this. Can you see the back of the Lapras's? So we have Brian in at 70. Oh, sorry, Connie. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, like, once you get into the early base set, especially once I start adding, like, holograms and stuff. Is Krabby a misprint? No, I don't think so. Lindsay's out. We have 75 with Carl. Carl can take this one. I think this is a good one for the Hitma Chan. Yeah, the one's really nice. I think it might be an 8 or 9, but the other one definitely looks to be like a 7. <laughs> so we do appreciate everybody who's here today. And we are going to be concluding with this. We will be here from 1 until 4-ish. And then Thursday, we are going to be running a marathon-ish kind of day. Uh, T is going to join us from auctions for you at about three o'clock and then we're going to run till probably five here on my channel Then we're going to go over to her channel and sell till probably eight or nine So we're going to have a long day Thursday But we will be here tomorrow So we're at 75 with Carl Sold sold sold
And if you are new with us, just remember I send invoices on Thursday night or Friday. So this week it will definitely be Friday, no question. Um, just and that's for everything from the week. You don't you don't pay until I send you the invoice. And that way it's just easier for us and easier for you. And then everything that you pay for, we try to ship out a bunch of stuff on Friday. And then on Monday, the rest of everything else goes out that's paid for. So, guys, I do appreciate everybody being here. Uh, hope you guys watched the comic video because we are going to be doing a ton of comic books over the next, oh, forever. Um, from those boxes... I have some boxes of the magazine, fanzine type stuff up here in the front. But what I'll do with you guys right now is I'm actually going to take you off the thing. We're going to walk. So tomorrow preview, we're going to do some of those. Here's some of the postcards inside of there. This giant box is full. Pam has a box of magazines up there. Is some tray lots of toys and miscellaneous and there's some sports cards and coins and all kinds of fun stuff and I think she's going to make more but I will take you over here just to give you a sneak peek for tomorrow these are the trays that I started boxing up right here of comics here's more comic book stuff in here like underground stuff here fanzines and that type of stuff so this is all from that collection and then there's cards inside of that binder and we are going to have those we're going to have gi joes and i'm going to take you guys just right back here and show you the mountain this is what we bought this weekend all of those boxes are full of comic books. Ten, you can see right there, it says 10 cent covers, 10 cent old comics, old classics. There's old Disney, and over there's another pile. But these are all going to be coming to the auction. I'm not going to do anything else with them because I told you guys my goal is to turn YouTube into the only source where I'm selling. Um, instead of worrying about eBay research, any of that other stuff, I'd rather just sell it all to you guys. So guys, again, I appreciate you guys being here very much. So everybody will be here tomorrow from one until four or five ish. And thank you all for being here. This is Brian Davis on behalf of our mods and Pam who already left. Thank you. We appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. And we will see everybody tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening.